So I was looking for some new chargers uh, to charge up my batteries and I was initially talking to the seller that I buy most of my things from and I wanted to get a Nightcore chargers but um, the one I wanted it was discontinued. Um, I'm not sure why but it could be some quality problems and I'm not sure uh, if Nightcore makes those chargers or have plans to uh, make any other chargers so I was asking the seller if he had any other recommendations for me I only wanted like a multiple slots and a screen I think it's just a cool to have a screen it gives you some more information and um, yeah overall the screen chargers like this they are more expensive than the normal with just some LEDs and such but the difference isn't too big these chargers are really inexpensive either way so he um, he recommended me this uh, Mi Boxer C4 Smart Charger and I think it got at least all of the same functions of the Nightcore Charger I wanted initially but the price point of this is maybe a third or a half of the Nightcore Charger so um, it doesn't look as cool but it got the same functions and even more and I have tested this now and if you don't really want to look through this whole video with me just rambling around and not really know what I'm talking about this here is a good charger I can recommend it you find a lot of good reviews about it it's inexpensive so just buy it and don't watch this video but otherwise you can watch through this video here and we will ramble along on some um, different specifications that I don't really know too much about. I'm not uh, too interested in chargers in general and I don't really have the knowledge to like go in there and test everything and see how they are made and such. But we can see it's uh, got up to uh, fast charging up to 1.5 amps. If you get one of the new C4 Plus or something, I think it's almost double the price or something, but then you can charge up to 2 amps or something like that. So you will have some faster charging with a newer and more expensive version, but 1.5 amps it uh, is uh, enough for most batteries and uh, regularly you don't either want to have too high of a charge current because the batteries can't handle it but the charger itself it will also regulate the right kind of charging uh, which is optimum for the battery so even if you have it at the highest it will eventually go down and to save when the battery goes up to a higher charge because then it can't charge as fast it's only uh, some percentage of the battery capacity that you can't really fast charge and stuff and you can also change the overall charging pace if you always wanted to have it at a lower pace but it will take a longer time super compact build of course it's not too big it's a little bit bigger than on this picture here but you can also use it in your car at 12 volt which is perfect if so if you have it in your truck or in a car so you can always have batteries charged for whatever you are using these batteries for and 8S full automatic, I'm not sure what they mean by that, but it got a lot of protections uh, over this charge. It will stop when the batteries are fully discharged. If you put in them the wrong way, it will cut the charging. If you sense there's something wrong with the battery, it will cut the charging. So it got all of the needed safety features. And if you want to look further into the safety features, you will probably find a lot of information about that, but it got all of the known safety features that I know about. It automatically um, recognizes the battery that you put in them uh, and it can charge almost any kind of cylinder type rechargeable battery, even the old NiCad battery and uh, such and automatically recognizes them either way uh, and you can change it manually but why not have the automatic do it by yourself. And it also measures the internal resistance. That is good to see how the battery overall uh, life is, or if it's a good quality battery or bad quality, and if it's uh, worn down and such. And also, I think it's smart enough to check the internal resistance of the battery and then also limit the current or charging pace of the batteries uh, because you don't want to put too much uh, power into a battery with a high internal resistance that can uh, lead to some a lot of heat and explosions probably I'm not sure four slots 
and for batteries you can charge them all at once and you can have them charged at the same pace and everything like linked up together I'm not sure why you would do that but for some people that maybe is a good feature uh, automatically stops when you yes I said that automatically yeah it gives the best charging current and when it um, starting to get full the batteries will uh, not charge as fast but you can also charge it manually at a slower pace if you want it shows the percentage of the battery we'll see that later reverse battery protection of course and this is another cool thing if you have like a zero voltage battery or a lithium battery with a protection on it if you go down below a certain voltage either if you haven't charged it at a long time and it will stitch charge the last time you use it and uh, there's like a battery protection thing in those batteries with the protected ones um, to cut out so if you have it in a flashlight it won't really go lower lower because then the things can happen so and the problem is that some of them won't charge or something after doing that but this air can like trickle charge and uh, bring them back to life uh, yeah 2 voltage DC 12 volt so not a truck voltage 24 volt that's unfortunate but you uh, American and Europe 90 to 260 volt so yeah but no not for truck stop so here we have the charger itself it's fairly standardized size for this four slot charger plastic feels out of okay quality if I had a lot of this I would maybe take a lighter and actually try to burn a plastic and see if it um, like cuts out itself or stops burning because the plastic shouldn't burn uh, in an application like this but uh, it should have all of the safety uh, tests done to it so it got just uh, the most known certifications and I haven't checked for it and checked with the manufacturers but I hope of course that all of these uh, certifications are real and they should be otherwise they probably will be fine if they have those printed on here so C marked that's uh, an R O H S F C and such and it also just states a lot of the more basic information voltage and all of the compatible batteries and such so four slots I've seen somebody talking about uh, these spring loaded things here are a little bit weak but I haven't seen any problem with them just feels like with any other charger we have two buttons here and then you have the illuminated LCD screen the LCD screen doesn't look as cool as the previous night charger charger that I had but it says you all of the same functions it's just that the LCD is a little bit more basic so uh, let's find another battery that is, is maybe a little bit discharged so we have this 18650 cell here you just put it in it automatically recognizes the battery type and what voltage it should be at it says that it's currently at 88% capacity of the cell internal resistance is 20 79 milliamps or ohms I believe maybe it is and it's now charging at that one amp current and it's fairly high voltage and high charge already so it won't put too much charge into battery and we can see it charging up here and here it shows how many milliamps it have a charge in total and here you have the charging time for the battery itself so to go through all of the modes and charging things you use these two buttons here so it's uh, handy to have the manual with you so you know how it's done after you have maybe done it a few times if you use it a lot you will probably remember it but I believe if we hold it in we will have some function and we can see uh, this is the charging pace and at this moment I can choose up to one and a half amps we'll see I can't now it jumps from 1.2 to 1.5 therefore it's just jump so I select that we'll see I don't think it will charge at that pace now because the battery is uh, 
a high state of charge so if it's charging that fast at this um, 90% it will damage the battery probably and if you double tap the mode button you can switch if you have another kind of battery in here you can choose that as well and as I say you have a lot of different functions in this um, battery here but those here are what I believe are the main functions that I will use them for and yeah you can look up all of the functions yourself and use the manual uh, to do like the repair things I think it maybe automatically repairs them the batteries as well but yeah as I said a lot of functions uh, hold in the two buttons at the same time Now, yeah, uh, at this time I was trying to like do the discharge uh, cycle, but that is only in slot 4 of course. So we have to remove the battery and put it into slot 4. And when you then press both of the buttons, you get this activate screen. Uh, now you just choose if you trick slot, I believe, at that time. You will just select normal automatic charging, but if we trick, click the mode button again and get this uh, on top here and then press select we are now in the um, test phase of the battery so uh, now it will charge the battery up to 100% then it will discharge it down to 0% or 1% or whatever and then charge it up again to see the overall capacity of the battery uh, I will show a video when I did that on another battery but I believe those are the main features that most people use them for you can charge a lot of battery with, with this one here another 18650 cell you even have AAA batteries this here is uh, NEMH which is not the same no it's not the same kind of battery as the 18650s and also in the package you get like a holder so these uh, batteries will rest a little bit better in the holder otherwise they can slip and fall down and such but the springs also hold them in place either way so and then we have a normal AA battery and we can see it recognizes that Nikad or any MH battery 53% and it charges at the uh, correct stuff 0.8 we'll see yeah we can't charge this as fast so that's good that you can't do that so let's just choose that and it does everything automatically and to check the information between the batteries you just press the slot button here so here we can see the charger and I have done a discharge to charge cycle on this to test the capacity and this here we oh yeah oh it actually remembered it I'm not sure if it's but we can see it's a night core 3004 milliamp hour cell so it's a fairly uh, big cell in this battery here, 18650 battery, which is supposed to be a good quality battery with a high capacity. And after doing the test, we can see uh, it goes up to 3090 milliamps. So uh, it's not the 3400 milliamps, but that is still a high number. And then uh, it charges it up first, discharge uh, at the pace you can choose between 0.1 to 0.4 amps I believe and uh, then it discharges it all the way and charges it up again and uh, discharging a battery like this at the pace of maximum 0.4 takes a fairly long time so you need to have some time to do this testing so I believe this took hour over 10 hours i'm not sure if it stops at 9 hours and 59 minutes or if it actually took 9 hours and 50 min, mi, 59 minutes uh, it should probably have a space for another number there so uh, 9 hours and 59 minutes and then we can see it's charged up to 
100%. So when I did all of my research yesterday, looking for all of the functions and how to do things here, um, I found this one thing here that also should I mentioned in the video, which I find very, um, this information is important. Uh, output current, when you have two batteries, you can charge them to a maximum pace of 1.5 amps but that is with two batteries so when you put all three batteries in it you can only charge at 1.3 amps at all of the batteries and if you put four batteries in it you will only have 1.8 amps charge at each battery so i think this is common with a lot of chargers and it's basically because otherwise this charger here probably had to be bigger because it would have to draw more power make more heat and such but yeah it, i don't really mind this but it's just something to keep in mind so yeah uh, i think that's the main features if you like this video and find it helpful check out the link below if you want to get this uh, charger here uh, I don't really know too much about the circuitry on such on the inside. Maybe I could take a look uh, at the inside and check out just uh, how it looks. But yeah, I won't do it because I will actually use this charger. And uh, the charging cable here, uh, you can uh, choose, of course, where you live in the world. If you buy it from Amazon in the US, you will get the US cable otherwise. And if you are in Europe and get it from another place, you just get the cable you need. Just click it from the seller or otherwise it's just this standard cable here that a lot of different things use. Or 12 volt is this other thing here, which is very normal um, charging cable or cable that I don't know what it's called, but yeah. Thanks for watching this uh, little review here of the battery charger and yeah.